Good morning friends let us learn the indian express explained vaccine that targets multiple corona viruses the vaccine created by jaichner and virginia tech doctor yang jin meng targets a part of virus spike protein called the fusion peptide using a new platform scientists have developed a covid-19 vaccine that they say could offer protection against not only existing and future strains of the sars cov-2 coronavirus but also other coronaviruses the vaccine is cheap at $1 a dose and has shown promising results in early animal testing the researchers have reported in the journal PNAS so how it's different the new vaccine production platform was invented by Dr Steven L Jaichner of the University of Virginia Health System it involves synthesizing DNA that directs the production of a piece of the virus this can instruct the immune system how to mount an immune response against the virus the vaccine created by Jaichner and Virginia Tech Dr Jiang Jing Meng targets a part of the virus spike protein called the fusion peptide this compound is essentially universal among coronavirus and has not been observed to differ at all in in the many genetic sequences of sars cov-2 obtained from around the world the researcher said other cov-19 vaccine do not appear to be specifically targeting the fusion peptide to my knowledge most vaccines in development target either the entire spike protein or just the receptor binding domain while antibodies against the rbd can provide good neutralizing activity there can be mutations in the rbd that decrease somewhat the effectiveness of the antibodies he said i think that making a vaccine that essentially recapitulates almost exactly the antigens made by the virus may be mistaken the virus has evolved to be able to continue to live even in the presence of an immune response in a sense making a vaccine that elicits an immune response against an immunodominant antigen may be falling for the tricks that the virus has laid for the for us he said so how it works there are other vaccines that instruct the creation of a part of the virus for example mrna vaccines such as those developed by pfizer biontech and moderna both in use in the us deliver mrna messenger rna carrying instructions for creating the spike protein of the coronavirus the idea is that when the real virus attacks the immune system will recognize the spike and mount a response how similar then is the new dna based platform that delivers instructions and coding for the fusion peptide it is quite different from mrna zeigner said in the new platform once dna encoding for the fusion peptide has been synthesized it is inserted into another small circle of dna called plasmid which can reproduce within bacteria the dna plasmid is introduced into bacteria this technique uses the bacteria e coli Escherichia coli. To make our vaccine, we grow the Escherichia coli, then inactivate it with formalin. Growing bacteria and inactivating them is a well-developed process, and the factories that can do this already exist in many countries around the world. The killed whole cell cholera vaccine can be made for US one dollar, which can serve as a kind of benchmark. Growing bacteria and inactivating them is easier and much less expensive. That. making large quantities of mrna tests and results meng and jensner made two vaccines one designed to protect against covid-19 and another designed to protect against proporcin epidemic diarrhea viruses the latter which infects pig is also a coronavirus when pd first appeared in pig herds in the us it killed almost 10% of pigs in the country both vaccines were found to protect the pigs against illnesses caused by pd v that means porcin epidemic diarrhea virus the vaccine does not did not prevent infection but protected the pigs from developing severe symptoms so what next the researchers acknowledged that addi- additional testing including human trials would be required before their covid-19 vaccine could be approved by regulatory agencies around the world for use in people but what if the fusion peptide of sars cov-2 two mutates i suppose anything is possible but to date this has not been observed all the sars cov-2 sequence to date share the same core fusion peptide sequence exactly and every sequenced corona virus has an identical 6 amino acid fusion peptide core jaisner said so PDP and SARS COVID-2 are related but distinctly yet even this very distinctly related coronavirus share the same 13 amino acid fusion peptide core sequence thank you